Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sea Skylines. We filled a large lake with poo last time, um, so I was going to possibly do something slightly less poop worthy this time around, and just kind of flick through and do a bit of schedule and tidy keeping the rest of it, because we've got a lot of requirements. We should probably make sure they're being met in our city. So we have plenty of power. Don't need to worry about that. We've got, as we saw last time, plenty of water and plenty of places to put our water. How are we doing for garbage? Yeah, there's a few places here and there, apparently. I mean, those guys are apparently complaining they've got too much garbage, but, um, yeah, yeah, things burn down. But everywhere else, we're not seeing any red markers anywhere saying that we've got places full of garbage. I don't quite know why these guys aren't getting attention, but I'm here for that. Medical. I'd spotted that we don't actually have complete medical coverage over this area over here. Now, is this a one-way road? No, it's not. So, and given this is a very high density area, what I was thinking about doing was. That's a firehouse. It was moving the medical clinic somewhere else. Um, where else is having a slight medicinal shortage? You are. Your health is really bad. I'm assuming that's because of the pollution. coming off that. Not a lot I can really do about that. Um, well, no, that's not true. There is, actually. I can move it onto the other side of the road. So, let's get the road. Delete the road. We'll want one of them, because it's going to be a filthy road anyway. Come up to 12. Come across... Come down if you please. And just go parallel to the road for a bit. Let's just move that unpleasant, filthy, disgusting pollution out of your way. Nice. Alright. Done. So that will clean up in a bit. Uh, we'll leave the taxi depot there. In the interim, that should probably remove your health problem. Now, we were looking at deciding somewhere to relocate this medical centre. Now, do you guys actually have a medical centre out on that edge? No, you don't. Let's put one there. That should please you people just a little bit and hopefully warm up that health. So, what we ought to be doing is sticking a proper big hospital in down over here. So we're going to take a little bit of tinkering as we relocate a few other buildings just to make sure we've got the space we need. And then we'll grab space is already occupied by High school. Alright, well, let's move that up there. And you up here. Pleasing these people there. Wait after you've kicked them out. They'll, they'll just come back later. Hospital. Big hospital. Put it on that side of the road. Yes, we can. Done. Alright, the taxi rank. Can go there. Good, good. Everywhere else, repaint. Good, good. Right, nice big shiny new hospital with its strangely warped and deformed car parks to serve this area. So I suspect that the health coverage in this place should get up pretty good. So that was health, crime, or fire safety. Not as good as it could be in this area. Pretty awful out in the Fiddler's Crab. Possibly the solution to this would be try and find a way of putting a fire station right on that corner. You've got plenty of fire services. I'm not entirely sure what it is you're worrying about, but mostly I suspect the fire risk is because it's wood. And you know, wood burns. Why don't you... Ah, because there's only one fire station. It's over there. Okay. Well, that should be reasonably easy to solve as a problem. I just necessarily need to find a little bit of space to put a fire station in. Done. 
make sure they've got water, because firemen aren't a lot of use with water. They could turn up and just go, oh look, yeah, your building's on fire. There's, um, I could do something about that, but I don't have any water in the engine. And you've got, you've got there, but you don't have down on here. And you guys don't have there. Your nearest fire service provider is over here. Uh, left hand side of the road. There we go. You are all now slightly happier. I will stick a fire service and I'll put police out here. You've got one fire engine down there. It doesn't serve nearly enough everyone. Ooh, not a big fire station. What's zoned up here? All of it. Alright. That should cover that end. You don't really need one. You've got plenty of coverage. Though apparently we do have disconnected power lines. And water. Something I might do in that case then is while I've got the space, is I will run power line from there to there, just to give me a double backup. Just see if we want to run all them. Fire. That's all we solved out. Police is good. How are we doing for prison? Jail capacity, detained criminals. Our prison is over amongst the donkey woods. There's a long lighted building. 127 to 500. Alright, I think you're in pretty good condition. We don't need to worry about you. Education. There's some stupid people in here. Some very stupid people over here. But I'm not immediately concerned. We do need some stupid people to work the stupid jobs. Public transport. <laughs> Our bus route of many things. Taxis. Not carrying too many people. A taxi stand over here. All taxis are in use. Well, let's uh, just make life a little easier. Let's just put uh, a few more of these out. Do we have many taxi stands around at all? Got a few near some of the key buildings, I suppose. Not nearly as many as you might think, though. Yeah, there are a few dotted around here and there. So I have to make it worth a little bit of your time trying to find one. Yeah, I'll stick for that. The reason I have a problem with the taxi ranks is because they're a certain odd shape. They do take up a lot of what could be potentially useful real estate. Yeah, it's where the taxis wait. Fine. Happiness. Start down over in the corner. You appear to be reasonably happy. You out in the far corner over here are not happy enough. I will give you a bouncy castle. What are you? Heavy commercial? Yeah, you're heavy commercial. Well, now you've got a bouncy castle. You lot. You are not as happy as you could be. Somehow I don't think necessarily putting a bouncy castle next to a motorway is going to be my brightest move. Uh, looks like you could do with some kind of small park up here. Catch the back of there. Thank you for happiness. You're some kind of industrial area that doesn't really matter. You're mega happy because of all the stupidly powerful buildings, but this corner isn't, apparently. Fair enough. Do I have... What's already in the way? Nothing but normal buildings. Oh yes, we can do. Doink. Have a park. Have a really big park. Should also potentially reduce. It's raining. Some of the traffic load a little bit as well. Hmm. Just notice the trains slowly moving past each other there. 
Something we can certainly look at. Here, yeah, the dinging of Happy Park people. Um, we've got another point over here. What are we doing pollution wise off those guys? Yeah, slightly unpleasant, but not uncontainable. Uh, looks like we do want some kind of park in over this corner. There's a gap for Sunken Plaza. And there's a gap for Sunken Plaza. Should cheer you guys up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. And there. Happy days. You're all pretty happy in here. You're happy. You're not as happy as you could be. Would you like a botanical garden? I think you would like a botanical garden. You're not as happy as you could be. There's space down here for a really big park. That should cheer them up. I'm pretty sure there's space here for a really big park. We need to move people into area, other areas. And I think I will reward you for your patience with a carousel. Uh, yes, so there was a football pitch here, but the mod lost. Bye bye mod. So I no longer have my football pitch there. Which is why there's a gap in the happiness matrix. Yes, it's a thing. Happiness matrix of things. You lot. You don't look as happy as you could be. That's a bit big. Uh, it was a Japanese garden. Dog park. Dog park. And we'll go over. We do have a basketball court. Ah, yes, that's the other thing we can close it with. It's a new bit of free DLC we can have a look at in a sec. But what was there was a football court. Now we have one, two, three basketball courts instead. But speaking of sport, we have a football stadium. It's going to cost us 200 thou. Football team, play matches. Victorious, we get a prize sum. That's nice and big. We want to put a decent, find that, a decent location. How about right on the edge over here? What's potentially in the way? We've got a very angled Japanese peace garden. Go down over there. Football stadium. The slope is too steep. Do we want to put it on its own dedicated little location and hub? Probably not. I want it close into the main city centre. It's just a question of where do we want to put it. Ooh, could we put it in the middle of here? Potentially. Is there a metro stop nearby? Yes, there is. Alright, let's do some tweaking of this. with trees. We're supposed to be over there for a little bit. Skate park. Coming over there. Now let's grab our shiny new stadium. Bang. Nice. Now we need to finish our one-way road. Which I so cruelly demolished in my haste. There we go, put that back in. We want residential on that edge. Oh no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Let's go to the paint tool. That's mostly sorted itself out. 
Nice. So we just moved. A really big park. Don't quite have enough space to put it back. Which is fine. It's fine. It can, uh, can lurk over there. No, I really want that for my industrial. Where can we stick this enormous great big park where it might do some good? Hmm. Who's feeling sad? Come on. There must be a spot along here where the slope isn't defensively steep, or the road isn't defensively disturbed. There we go. Nice. So we have. Nope, that's the Menagerie Squares. And the Cell Yellow Ledger. We have this, a football tap, Animalia FC. We we'll play in very fetching shade of bright turquoise. Let's make the tickets nice and cheap. Come on, come all. Public transport is free on match days, yes. Higher match security, yes. Subsidized youth. Spending on training young players. Yes. Don't want to relocate the building, so it's going to cost us a fair bit more, but we're making plenty. Next match, Santa Vegas. Yeah. What do we want to call our football stadium? Ooh. Well, we've already got the menagerie area, we've already got a zoo. Mm. It's a bowl, we'll call it. The fish bowl. I wonder how many will win. The next match is the 23rd. Or the 8th. We're on 10.04. So, you guys don't play very often, do you? Some of our happy noises. I mean, if nothing else, we've got a bus network nearby that should be able to supply them. And we did put a metro station just there. Plenty of car parking space. I will, in the interests of convenience, do that just to make getting to that little part of town just that little bit easier. I wonder how our metro here is doing. There's plenty of people using it. Not plenty of places to be, I suppose. It does connect up quite nicely. Is there another way we can get the uh, metro line to plug in just to make life a little bit easier for these folks? Well, we've got the monkey line and this line being quite close to each other. Between Ocelot Air and that station over there. So, how about we... ...do this. Where's that station? There. Into there. And we will put in a new line. If I can figure out how. No, I don't want to move that stop. Fine, I will just delete those two. And those two. Create new line from there to there. Cool. Back again.
Can't change the side. Can't change the side. Alright, you stop there. You stop there. Hit two stops. Yeah, there's a dark blue one, yeah. Alright, so I don't know how much that little interconnection is going to do for us. I think it might provide the people with just another little way of getting back and forth. And I'm hoping the uh, game doesn't throw too many. There are a lot of people on that platform. Wow, that's busy. I think we might be worth our while increasing our metro budget. Just to get a few more people on some of these lines. Which are, some of them are quite long. Alright, good. Lots of planes. So, you aren't scheduled to play a match for absolutely ages. Fine. Leave that be then. Still making plenty of cash. We've gone over 100,000 over the course of this episode, so there's certainly that. So, this has been an episode of Minor Tinkerings. Um, the lake of waste continues to fill. Um, I'm just going to keep filling it until it gets to the point where it, it won't go any higher or it starts to overflow. And I don't think it's going to do that anytime soon. Obviously, there will be a point where the amount of water being soaked in balances out with the amount of water being pumped in. I'm, I mean, I'm hoping that will occur at some point, and we won't have to worry about suddenly running an emergency canal across to here, which we may do. Um, just demolish everything along here and just dump a canal out to there so we get the poop water. It does return, uh, it just gets stored up here, and then we have an overflow. Oh, not the greatest. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so, thank you very much for watching as I just tinkered and played, and played and tinkered in this episode. It's been just about getting things to move on a little bit, because we still don't have really much in the way of demand. Um, even though this place is now really beginning to fill up, as is this, we are really looking for it to fill up more, more people please, so I can fill more of these remaining areas in. So, thank you very much for watching ladies and gentlemen, I've been the Marmoset, this has been Animalia with the After Darks patch, giving us yet more fun in City Skyline. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment.